Welcome to Colorado Campgrounds, What You Need to Know. This YouTube channel supports our website, www.coloradocampgrounds.us.com. If you like this video of Manco State Park, check out our website to view pictures and read important details about every campsite at the park. You will also get a list of our favorite campsites at Manco State Park. Enjoy the video. Manco State Park is in southwestern Colorado between the towns of Durango and Cortez. The easiest approach is west from Durango on U.S. Highway 160. Drive 27 miles, then turn right or north onto Highway 184. Your next turn is quick, only one quarter of a mile. Turn right onto County Road 42. You will start to climb. In four miles, you will turn west or left onto County Road 9 for one half mile to the park entrance. Manco State Park is on the San Juan Skyway Scenic Byway. Greetings fellow campers. Camping Steve coming to you from Manco State Park located in southwest Colorado, about 27 miles west of Durango, Colorado, and only a few miles uh, east of the Great Ruins at Mesa Verde. Manco State Park would be a great spot for you to stop at and camp while you're visiting Mesa Verde. It's at a high altitude, about 8,000 feet, in the Ponderosa Pine Forest, so there's plenty of shade. There's also a 200 acre lake should you want to dip your, your line in the water and catch some fish. Come to Mako State Park. It's small, only 32 campsites, but you're going to enjoy it. It's cool nights, warm days, and great shade in the Ponderosa Pines. This is Camping Steve signing off. We'll see you at a campground somewhere in Colorado. The state park has two campgrounds providing 34 campsites and a 216-acre reservoir. The campground has no hookups, but offers water hydrants, vault toilets, and a dump station. The main campground is on the south edge of the lake. And the west campground is actually on the north side of the lake. Now, let's review the main campground. The campground has 23 campsites and two rental yurts. The campsites have adequate spacing and shade, but there are no hookups in the campground. Vault toilets and water hydrants are centrally located. Here's the drive through video of the main campground. Campsite number 8 is on a road that cuts through the center of the main loop.
Site number 19 is also on that road that cuts through the center of the loop, so I'll have to jump there. As I mentioned earlier, the West Campground is on the north side of the lake. You must drive across the dam road to get to the West Campground. The West Campground is comprised of nine tent sites, although small trailers or pop-ups may fit in several of the campsites. The sites are closer to the lake than those campsites in the main campground. While there are two vault toilets, there are no water hydrants in the campground. Here's the video for the West Campground. These campsites are well spaced. Go to our website www.coloradocampgrounds.us.com and you will find campsite photos for each of these campsites. Along this road, there are many parking areas for picnicking.
Manco State Park can be used as a home base to visit the Mesa Verde National Park, whose campground has little shade when compared to Manco's. Manco State Park's amenities include the 216-acre lake, a boat ramp, an amphitheater, a dump station, and a great wooded environment complete with deer. I enjoyed my campsite at Manco's. While there were no hookups, the site was perfect for some rest and relaxation. Well, that concludes our Manco State Park video. Please like this video, make a comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to explore our other Colorado campground videos. Also, be sure to visit our companion website, www.coloradocampgrounds.us.com. There you will find campsite photos and important information to improve your Colorado camping experience. This is Camping Steve signing off. See you at a campground somewhere in Colorado. Mm -hmm.